What a wonderful time we had in Market Drayton. We had a lovely couple of nights there. It's got everything you'd want. Chinese takeaways, chippies, pubs, uh, supermarkets, little quaint shops, and of course, a market on a Wednesday. Well worth a visit. I like Market Drayton. So Turley Lock is just ahead and we've already got a boat ahead of us so uh, Chugs is third in the queue, got plenty of time, it's 25 past 7 so it's still nice and early. So the towpath here at Turley Locks is as I remember it, very wet and very muddy, it is very much in a cutting so the sunlight doesn't get chance to uh, to dry the towpath, but they are very picturesque little locks. Yeah, this first lock. When you're going in the by wash here. It's quite notorious for boaters and well known and it can actually hit you into those rocks. In fact my friend Malcolm got wedged into those rocks doing this lock. Well remarkably I got chugs in without touching the sides. I couldn't film it as it was a bit of a white knuckle ride uh, but we're in safe. Right let's get this lock done. Well, John's been on the radio, he's opened the gates on the next lock for me and set it, so it is a bit of a guard set. And really. my friend is just closing those gates behind me and that saves me a lot of work. So, Turley Locks, lock two. <laughs> so we're at lock four. We're making good headway. John is sort of draining the lock above when he goes through which is helping quite a lot and my friend here is closing the gates behind me and closing the paddles so I can just carry on to the next one. What a team. So we're in the last lock here at Turley. John is at the water point, which is just through the lock. Uh, so I'm, when I'm up and level, I'm gonna stay in the lock and wait for John to move forward. And then I'm topping up with water. We've done a load of washing this morning and showered. So uh, we are desperate for water. And we can get rid of our rubbish and everything else here. It's just a beautiful lock. Very nice. That's totally done. We've got rid of our rubbish and topped up with our water and we're on our way. We virtually go straight out of Turley Locks, straight into our first cutting, which is Woods Eve's Cutting. Very picturesque, uh, but very, very narrow. Let's get in there. So you can see in the distance the first of our high bridges just shows how much of a cutting we're actually going through. And just to the port side you can see where there's been a landslide at one time. It's quite famous for its landslides going through here and indeed last year and the year before it was blocked due to the landslides.
As we cruise through the cutting, it's hard to imagine that all of this was dug out by hand. Can you imagine the noise with the spades, the shovels, the pickaxes? Phenomenal, the horses. Because of course the sound would probably have echoed in the cutting. It's hard to imagine the blood and sweat that went into digging this canal. You're quite comfy there, Chipster Whipster. And Daily Whaley. Morning. We're making really good time. We're just going past Shebden Moorings now and then we're heading into Grub Street, uh, the second of the two uh, cuttings that we're going through today. And then, of course, we'll be at Norbury Junction. Uh, so about 45 minutes or so and we should be there. Uh, sun's forecast to come out later as well, which would be nice. I'm really looking forward to seeing my friends, Simon and Tracy.
not too far to go now we're in Grub Street now Grub Street cutting obviously famous for the high bridge very very famous bridge on the canal with the telegraph pole and we'll be coming up to it shortly somebody's been very busy isn't that smart and there it is in front of us I think it's bridge 39 high bridge on the Shropshire Union probably one of the quirkiest and most famous bridges on the canal network I remember the first time I saw that bridge with my dear friend Malcolm um, when we were cruising down the Shropshire Union the first time. It's always been a dream of mine to take chugs under that bridge and it was fantastic to do it with Malcolm. Equally, it's great to do it with John and Angie and of course my friend that's on board. It's, uh, yeah, really nice. And what makes it extra special is we know that Norbury Junction is just around the corner so I'm gonna see two other very, very good friends. Yes, yeah, Simon and Tracy. Just coming into Norbury Junction now, the familiar sight of lots of moored boats. But I like this place, I've done a, a, fest, a few festivals here and I have been here as well for a nice weekend with my friends and they took me on a, a nice little cruise so that was lovely but it's good to be back. There's the pub, the junction in, and then to the left you have the cafe, trip boats and the workshop. Welcome to Norbury. So as you can see, moored up in Norbury Junction. The pub's just over the bridge and the services are just here as well. So we've got a good pot, uh, good spot for mooring for the night. And there's my friend's boat, that green one over there. I'm gonna pop round in a bit and see them. I'll catch you later. I've had a great day. Lovely to catch up. I've got all my friends there. We're having a cracking barbecue. Uh, Simon's cooked a barbecue and they got me some early Christmas presents, bless them. A lovely barbecue and a lovely bottle of rum. God love them. But we are all having a laugh. Great afternoon. There's just something about Norbury Junction. It's a very welcoming place. I know I've got friends here, but uh, it is a really nice, friendly place. And Simon and Tracy are going to be following us tomorrow. We're all on our way to Brood. Uh, tomorrow we're perhaps going to stop stop off in Nosel on the way and then we're hoping to moor up in Brood tomorrow night. That's the plan. We'll see how we get on. But now I'm going to continue having some fun with my friends and a lovely catch up. And then tomorrow's another day. I'll see you tomorrow.